Well, welcome to another uh, EDIUS demonstration of video editing techniques for TV news. And today I thought I'd show you the way that I go about colour coding the timeline for programs or projects that have intermediate length sequences. So not very short news packages of one or two minutes long, but more like six, seven, ten minutes long, or longer if you prefer. And uh, starting out with a sequence or group of clips in a storyboard that's been constructed on the stratus, by the journalist or producer by assembling a bunch of subclips. When I bring that into EDIUS, it effectively arrives as a sequence strung out. And in fact, it had all four tracks of each clip originally, but now it only has two. Two tracks of audio, I eliminated the third and fourth as I didn't need them. But of course, all of these clips come in at default colors on the timeline so everything looks yellow and green it's a bit hard to know when you're looking at the timeline from back here who is appearing in which clip so an easy way of course would be to select the clip right click and find the properties or alt enter and then simply go to file info change its default clip color to something like this click ok turn it off and you can see that now it's applied that color but it's only applied it to the video clip because that's the properties that we're changing at the time. So how do I get my, all of my clip to change color and how do I group them effectively so that all of the same people get the same clip colors? Because I might want to put a color correction on this individual, then find him again somewhere else, apply the same color correction or audio level change. So what I'll do is create a bin called grabs I've placed my storyboard sequence in there. I'm going to select all of them as they're strung out in order of appearance and I'll drag them into my, top, into my bin. Now, once they're in the bin, you can see that I have clip color um, defined as a column and you can see the thumbnails ignoring the top one, which of course is our sequence, but all of our thumbnails now depict who appears in which shot. So I'm going to go through and pick, pick out all of the talent and give them their own unique colors, starting with this gentleman. And I'm control clicking to add each one of his appearances, as we can see going down the line here. And the last one you'll notice at the bottom has all of its attributes available to change. Now the clip color can be written with this little drop down arrow and for him I'm going to choose a dark blue. Now when I do that you'll notice that all the other selected instances also change to dark blue. So now all of his color will be dark blue. For the next interview, the lady in a red shirt, I'll be selecting all of her. They're somewhat related so I might give her a light blue. going to the last item which has the highlighted values. If I click one of the others, nothing will happen. They'll just become highlighted. So you have to click the little drop down. And in this case, I'm going to choose pink. Let's restore this timeline so we can see what's happening. I'm going to leave the original clips on the timeline, but I'll go back to the top, select my first clip, drag to the bottom, select my last clip using shift select so that they all are selected. I'm going to drag all of those selected clips to my timeline and drop them on the timeline. And when I click off, they'll be deselected representing their colors. Now I can see instantly where to find the gentleman with the red hat by clicking on the dark blue shots. I'm going to get rid of those two bottom tracks of audio. I don't need them. Now at this point, I can go through and allocate color correction or audio level changes as I require. The other thing that I do in my edit suite is I actually have my interview audio assigned to track two. So at this point, I would zoom out, select all of my audio tracks and drop them down one track. Also for my overlay, which I can identify easily, looking for these pink shots, all of my overlay, I tend to like to have on track two video so that I don't disturb any of my grabs. Just pop them all up like this. That way I can do a split edit or I can do a 
but edit and take out a, a breath or an um from my interviews without affecting the overlay. And there you have it. So that's how I convert these default colors over here into color coded groups. Then I simply select all of those, copy and paste them into my timeline. I just need to go and do an audio pass and they're good to go.